Hello and welcome back to our hard CA rotation. At this moment in time, all three VMs should now be in a failed state as we've gone through and ignore and then deploy to all three MySQL VMs. So if we take a look at all of our VMs, it'll take just a second to get this, we'll see that they're all in a failed state or in a unres um, sorry, a failed state and the rest will be in an unresponsive agent state. What we're going to want to do is follow our bootstrap procedures. And while that comes up, we'll take a look. So we have it linked here, our bootstrap procedures. And this will bring us over to our manual bootstrap procedures. Yep, all three failing state. So let's go ahead and get logged into all three. I've gone ahead and done this, logged into root, so sudo su minus and then run a monit summary. We can see that the process that's failed is Galera init. So per our documentation, the first thing we wish to do is monit stop Galera init. So we'll go ahead and monit stop Galera init. We we'll want to verify each one. Did have the process run, which it did. We're now going to want to run to the next step of our documentation, which is to take a look at the sequence number. And we can do this by running this command. All right, so one, negative one, two, negative one, three, negative one. Okay, per our documentation. If it has a positive integer, we use that. If it has negative one, then the node crashed or it was killed, and we killed it. Proceed as follows, which is we're going to run this command to get us a sequence number. This does take a second to run. One, two, three. There we go, all three have completed. Once that is completed, we need to grep the position from the log and get an actual number. So we do one, two, and we take a look at our three numbers. We have 379, 377, and 428. So right now, this one is our highest number. Yep. So what we're showing here is that this one has the newest version of the database, followed closely by this one, but this one greatly behind. So we're going to follow our manual bootstrap procedures to get all three of these to be happy. And now that we know which one is our highest number, we need to bootstrap the node. So we have SH onto that process. We need to then type echo needs bootstrap. And then we monit start Galera init. All right, if we take a look at monit summary, we'll give it just a second, we'll see the starts pending. And then it starts up, remember, the health logger process specifically relies on the Galera init process to be running. All right, so it's starting up and it's running and then you see Galera init. All right, so that's one. We now need to restart the remaining nodes just by starting Galera init on each node. So monit start Galera init. Uh, I can type, I promise. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do it here as there as well. take just a second for both of these to come up and then we'll see them join the cluster. And this is best done with all three on the same screen so you can make sure that you don't lose track as to which one has which number. So these two at this moment in time are currently syncing up to this one's current position. All right, we see initialize so it takes a second to sync 
and then it's going to actually start fully start the glare knit process. And then we'll see it go to running in just a moment. Running, there we go. And then we'll see this one catch back up in just a moment as well. It'll only allow one to sink at a time, so it does take a second. All right, almost done. Initializing. And we'll see it and the cluster health go to running at the same time. There we go. All right, at this moment, all three are in a happier state. So we can take a look and run our VMs again. And we'll see them all come back as a running VM. Almost there. Waiting for it to say running. Takes sometimes just a second to come back. There we go. And they're all now running. But we did ignore them. So one of the things we want to do is unignore the other two. And we want to make sure we know which ones are ignored or not. If we run the command instances dash dash details, one of the nifty fields that's available to us is if it is ignored or not. And I'm going to show you this real quick, both before and after running our ignore and unignore commands. So let's see here. There we go. We see the ignore field and we see almost all of them are false, except for two of them are marked as true. So we're going to run Bosch dash D CF unignore. And we want to grab our, oh, where are they at? There we go. My SQL. So that's one. And that's two. So we're going to unignore. And which one that one was? B954. So I need this one. There we go. All right. We want to verify that they were not, uh, sorry, we want to verify that they were in fact unignored. This takes just a second to get back. All right. And we see the ignore field is now all false. That means they are all unignored. So the last thing we need to do Let's run our deploy command again. And this will now make it past the MySQL VMs and head into the Diego database. And once this completes, I'll touch back because we have one more step after this. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. We will be back in just a moment.